Sponsored by True Tech Tools. TrueTechTools.com. Good morning, YouTube. We've got the five zone mini split again. This cursed Fujitsu. Today we are going to tear it down, recover all the refrigerant, and uh, isolate each of the air handlers and do a pressure test. And we'll try to take you along for the ride. everything I've done so far but what we're looking at here is I've isolated these three well all five of them but these are the three on this box and uh, put pressure taps in the line set we're gonna do that for all five of them and pressurize each line set up to the air handler and then pressurize all the EEV boxes from the condenser which will at least narrow it down and then if we have to we'll go from there but that's what we're at right now we're going to put some pressure on it that is bad right there that thing was going to leak anyway all these are going to start leaking Good morning YouTube. We are back at the five zone mini split. We finally got an evaporator coil in. We're gonna have to recover everything and start all over. Um, I've never done a evaporator on a ceiling cassette air handler for a mini split. So this will be fun. Stay tuned. Well, this is cute. It's not very big. Honestly, when I picked up the box from the supply house, I thought maybe it was empty. Little uh, evaporator loop. We'll cut it open and see what's inside. Well, that's all it is. Looks like a condenser coil for a standard unit. Should be pretty straightforward, I guess. So we'll move inside and get the old coil out. See how that goes.
fight But man, your heart is heavy You got troubles on 